is Archie Lee Hooker Jr. with the Coast to Coast Blues Band. We make vintage and up-to-date boogie-woogie blues. Uh, we have some down-home deep blues. Then we also have blues to make you dance. Um, we try to incorporate the audience into our concerts. What's inside of uh, 90 minutes we try to give you a variety of music. We give you a concert within a concert. Well, we start out with electric, then we downgrade to acoustics, which is, uh, is up close and personal. Then we gradually creep back up and take you out on a drive, you know, so yeah. So we have a variety of music. look at back at your past then you look at the future the way it is today it's just revolving around and some I'm telling about my family's life my life and the life of people that I was affiliated with people that I have seen and worked with everybody has the same problems America Europe everyone had the same problems It is important now for the future, for the peoples that are coming up to know how they got to where they are. The sacrifices that was made that they got and achieved what they got today. The sacrifices that the blues artists came before me, B.B. Robert Johnson, B.B. King, Albert King, Albert Collins, Blind Lemon Jefferson, uh, T-Bone Walker, all those old blues men that started long years ago did a sacrifice they did they blazed they blazed a trail that i'm able to do what i'm doing today uh it was it, it wasn't easy for them i heard the stories of them talking backstage where they could play in the club and the curtain would be drawn where the people couldn't see their face or else they could work in the place and couldn't eat in the restaurant um, they could play in the town, but couldn't sleep in the town. So things have changed. The musicians today, uh, the people of the day, really have to look at all the changes that have occurred over the years. How music, when you say history, a lot has happened to bring true music to the world. If you never had the blues, Walk one day in my shoes I done had the blues From my head to my shoes A lot of musicians had to stay away from home in order to feed their families. Um, and a lot of them worked day jobs. John Lee worked at the Chrysler plant during the day and played music at night. You know, B.B. Uh, King was a DJ in a radio station, WDIA, you know, uh, so Rufus Thomas, you know, so um, I look at the younger generation today and someone, some of them is ashamed of their heritage from which they came, but you should be very proud from which you came. Look at your roots. I'm very proud of from which I came. I know how. I got to where I'm at. I know what was driving me to get to where I'm at. 
Uh, the same thing I tell my kids. Do not be ashamed from which you came because you played a part in the history of making the world and making this country what it is, yes. I don't owe a hole I hold in my soul Um, from what I learned from John is was that you listen to it. If you're gonna recover uh, cover one of his songs, he always said, "Cover me, do not copy me." You put the fourth verse, and I heard BB said, Alba King said, and I was young, sitting around and dressing. What is the fourth verse? It's your verse. So, you, when I cover a song of John Lee's or anybody's, I look at that song and see how it involves me. Have I lived this part of the life? That way, when I go to do this song, I can put myself in those shoes and say, I live this. I walk down this road. I done live this part of life. It serves me right to suffer. I don't make mistakes in life. And when I walk on that stage, I try to tell people a little bit about the songs. That way, they would see, find one piece of that song that's involved in their life, what they're living today. It might help them to save a marriage, it might help them to save a relationship, it might stop them from going before the judge gets a divorce. You know, it's a, what I'm singing about up there is the mistakes that I made and try to pass it on to the younger generations. Just a little piece. They won't make the same mistake. Stop and look at what they're doing. A one room country shack See the stars and the moon through the cracks A one room country shack my motto in life is live life, don't look at the numbers. Most people say, uh, how old are you? I'm 69, but I'm not living the numbers, I'm living life. You live life day, day by day by day. Don't never look at how old you are. Numbers is just, it, it, it's just numbers. Life is your reality. What did you do? What you'll do tomorrow? What you did today? What you did with the numbers that you have? What would you do with the numbers? You get more numbers. What would you do? I always tell people, I was still on the stage as long as there's a stage. Because every day, I have something new to tell the public. All in that cold, that cold wind back. I was a very cheap baby. Mom, let me tell you why. I said one dozen eggs and one on him, you see. One dozen eggs and one on him. What the midwife pay for spanky life in the middle? Oh, Lambert. 